Hey everybody, so this is Chris here introducing you to this week's weekly ionized project. This week's open source project we have ionized is Stanford NLP. So let's get started. Before getting into details on how to run this project on ionize, let me give you some information on what exactly the Stanford NLP project is. So Stanford NLP is a Python natural language analysis package developed by research at St researchers at Stanford University. Looking at the abstract from the Stanford NLP paper here titled Universal Dependency Parsing from Scratch, you can see that Stanford NLP aims to provide a complete neural pipeline system that takes raw input as text and performs several common NLP tasks on this input text. So these tasks include tokenization, which involves dividing a text corpus into individual tokens or meaningful units, so essentially extracting each word from a sentence, and maybe all the punctuation as well. Um, Tokenization. Next, we have lemmatization, which refers to reducing derived words into some common base form. For example, take swimming, swam, swim, all those type of words. They can all be mapped back into a common lemma to swim. Parts of speech tagging, which is offered by the Stanford NLP package, which is where words are mapped to their corresponding part of speech tag, such as pronouns, nouns, adjectives, etc. And then we also have Stanford NLP provides dependency parsing, which extracts the dependency relationship between words and sentences. Another really cool thing to note here is that Stanford NLP provides this type of functionality for up to 70 different languages. So this project should be really useful for people working on natural language processing in almost any language. So now I'm going to get into how exactly to run this project on INIS. So first here, we'll take a look at the INIS Stanford NLP project, which can be found here at this GitHub page right here. Um, when we look down here, you can see that get a little bit of information on the Stanford NLP API. Um, you have an option here to pull down a Dockerized version of the project and run it locally. However, given that this Docker image can, is over 20 gigabytes, that could take a long time. So we recommend running on Ionize, which is a much easier option. So to run on Ionize, first thing we do is we click this button here. Again, you get a little bit more information on the project. And if you want information on the original Stanford NLP source code, follow this link here. So this will give you all the detail on the proper backend implementation details behind how this project runs. But we're not, we're just going to show how to do a quick little demo on how to use this API through Ionize. So to use this API, first thing we do is we click here on the Stanford NLP button, click on this post button here, and then we want to try it out. So that's exactly what we want to do. Um, so let's put in a sampled sentence. I'm going to go with something a bit easy. So let's go, hello, my name is Chris. And then we need to select the language. So as this is an English sentence, let's look for a model version with en underscore at the start. So click here. But as you can see, there's lots of different languages. So if you want to run for different things, um, KO for Korean, uh, F4 for French, all, again, up to 70 languages are covered by this, so it's a very impressive API. And then we click on Execute. And what we get back here is all the kind of, every word has been separated out. So hello, comma, my name is, etc. And then we have corresponding lemas, the parts of speech that were evolved and dependency between words in the sentence. So all the kind of common use, common information related to natural language processing is contained in this response. Now, if you want to run this command, not through this interface, but run in the command line, all you have to do is just copy this curl request here, and then we'll open up a terminal. Run it here. And then we get all this information that we had specified here comes back in the command line here. So, and that's it. It's as simple as that. And as I said, it can be run for several different languages. So feel free to try a different language yourself here, just specifying the corresponding mon model version related to the language of the text that you've input here. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's Weekly Ionize, and I will talk to you next week.